everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, back in 2000, he took home a silver medal in the Olympic Games in freestyle wrestling. DC, you go way back with this man. He is the soldier of God, middleweight contender, Yoel Romero. From the moment I met Yoel Romero, way back in the wrestling days, you understand that he is something special. He's one of the most naturally gifted athletes that I have ever met in my entire life. Even though he started his MMA career very late, he has now developed striking skills to match that Olympic level wrestling, and it keeps him atop the UFC's middleweight division. And your teammate Luke Rockhold said when he kicked him, he felt like he was kicking a metal ball. It's unbelievable, a man of steel. He has yet to realize a UFC middleweight title. Most people believe at some point before his career is said and done, Romero will at the very least get another crack at the UFC. So here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that, but when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon, and it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything, but nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon, and every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that, one of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Yoel, soldier of God, Romero! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. So the fight is now underway on one side. You're the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, 
big punch land. Nurmago Madoff gets in a clinch here early. Nice hook lands. Oh! A lot of top pressure being applied here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Romero. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Romero. Just over two minutes now to go. Relentless pressure from the top by Romero. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Romero's right back to the full mount. 45 seconds remain in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nermago Medov. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Romero. Second round, straight ahead. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Defensively to block the strike there by Nermago Mel. Nice job by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking but moving to avoid the counterattack from the It's the head, it's the athleticism of Noel Romero that allows him to be standing there flat footed and just get out of the way whenever he's trying to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete and he continues to be that even as he's aged. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And now he's got the tie clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Ooh, what a punch. Romero slower John now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so the unofficial numbers tell you 77 total strikes. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. He's got him up here. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, 
really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bach. Nurmago Medov's got the full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmago Medov. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, and now he gives up his back, so if the hooks get in, this could be the end. This could be the end, because there are too many options for such a phenomenal grappler to be on your back in full back control. He can flatten you out, he can chase submissions, you are in imminent danger, you have to stay careful and safe, but I don't have much good advice for you. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Third round underway. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Single collar tie there. Oh! oh. Romero's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Romero's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to fuck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat, or if you're gonna give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. 105 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. And in terms of the connection rate, if you care, 71% accuracy thus far against Kapiz and Mako. in a great performance by this young man. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joel, soldier of God, Romero. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. Tonight. See you soon. He did everything he needed to do. To find